Hey, welcome to the GQ Recommends show. This is a show where we break down all of the essential clothes that you should own. These are the shoes that'll cover you in any situation. If you have these five pairs of shoes in your arsenal, you are set. The casual lace-up. Basically, if you look in the dictionary under shoe, this is the shoe you're gonna see. It is a very basic, beautiful shoe that goes with absolutely everything. You can definitely dress them up, you can dress them down. I think it's like the new age dress shoe. If you were only gonna own one pair of shoes, that would be a mistake. But this would be the pair of shoes you could get away with. I think the Doc Martin Oxford is like amazing. It's kind of like another wardrobe staple that you should have. Doc Martens were originally a working class shoe. They were made to be worn in factories. They look really great scuffed up and they come in like a range of really great colors. The style itself is like evolved through time, but like the classic one is like the black. I also love the Clark's Wallaby. It's an all time classic beloved by the Wu-Tang Clan. It has this really cool, weird, oblong shape to it that's not quite squared toe, it's not quite rounded. You could wear these with like jeans, you could wear them with shorts. I've seen people like wear them with a suit, probably like in a darker colorway, not really this like lighter version, but I definitely think it's important to like show off this type of shoe. Because they're so classic, they are also super accessible. Doc Martens, for instance, and Clarks, they're gonna clock in way under $200, and you're gonna be able to wear them all the time, and they're gonna last you for ages. If you wanna step things up a little bit, you could also try getting a pair of shoes from a brand like Paraboot, which is a French company. They hand make all of their shoes in France, and they are very hardy and beautiful, and they will last you a lifetime. Timberland also makes these classic lug sole trail moccasins. They have sort of a boat shoe look about them, but they're not as preppy as the ones that your dad used to wear. They are another very great option if you're looking for something a little bit more rugged to add to your wardrobe. So we see Tyler the Creator with these like cool wallaby-esque style shoes and like a bubblegum pink and like this like light blue, which is great. And then when he's wearing the darker color, he's wearing them with like a white sock, which is great, kind of draws attention to it. And he's wearing them with like a dress pant, which is nice. So it's like something a little bit more dressed up, but still feels like casual enough to like run around and not feel stuffy. These shoes are as versatile as it gets, and that's why they're the number one category on our list. The classic sneaker. I describe this category as your everyday perfect type of shoe that you can grab on the go. It's always with you, it goes with everything. But we're not talking about the hype sneakers, we're not talking about the one-offs, the rare grails. We're talking about just the classic sneakers. They've been around the block. Also, a good thing is that all these classic sneakers are pretty affordable. This is a pair of Adidas Sambas, classic sort of soccer sneakers. They're super comfortable and they come in a lot of different colors. There's a lot of like celebrities out there wearing these too. I mean, we all know about the Air Force One. It's like the perfect like white basketball kind of sneaker. You can see like Miluma and Jeremy O'Harris wearing them. They kind of just add like a cool flair to any outfit. This is like a New York staple. It's like a bacon, egg, and cheese uh, for your feet. I think the key about classic sneakers is really sticking to like a classic colorway, which is like white, black, and gray. And then let like mother nature like make it a different color, you know, like dirtying it up. A lot of sneakers historically come from sports. This pair right here, Converse, was one of the original basketball shoes. So it's been around the block. Now it's just one of those classic things that is ready for pretty much any outfit. My go-to classic sneaker is a white Chuck Taylor All-Star. I like them really beat up. I only do the high tops, not the low tops. You know, I've sort of come around to the low tops. I've seen it done really cool with really baggy pants, not necessarily a lot of like ankle showing. So I mean, Joaquin Phoenix is like a legend. He wears Converse all the time, that's his go-to. You can see he's wearing it with like a tuxedo, which is kind of great, and it just gives your own like personal style and edge to your look. You can really make them your own. You can like change the laces as we see. You've seen people like write on them to give them a bit more personality. That's the great thing about this category is you can't do any wrong. Boots. Everybody loves boots and you need at least a couple of pairs in your life. You're gonna need a pair of all weather boots, boots that can survive a blizzard, that can help you walk through a rainstorm. And then you're gonna need a pair of sort of anytime boots. It's not 
as formal as a dress shoe, but it's not like you're just kicking it with a pair of sneakers or whatever. One of our absolute favorite all-weather boots here at GQ is the Blundstone. It comes from Australia. It is built for farming and trudging through the muck, and it is built to stand up to pretty much anything. It's got this very nice, sturdy rubber sole. It's got a very easy slip-on, slip-off design. If you wear them into the ground like I have with mine, they are gonna come out looking pretty cool in my opinion. You can wear this pretty much all year long. It's not too heavy, but it's still very warm in the winter time. These are an everyday shoe for a lot of people and with good reason. These were originally made in the 70s. It's a timeless style, and if you know you are about to see some shit, this will get you through it. Boots can be a little bit pricier, but it's worth spending a little bit more on them. This pair, for instance, from Danner will run you close to $400, but think of it like winter tires for your feet. They're the boots that you need to make winter a little bit more tolerable. If you want something just as weather friendly at a lower price point, Timberland makes a great pair of, of uh, boots that can withstand any rain or snow. On the complete opposite end of the spectrum from the boots we've just been talking about are these very, very slick Chelsea boots from Saint Laurent. They are closer to a dress shoe than they are to a winter boot. They are elongated and elegant and they're made from a really fine leather. You know, they have a bit of a rock star edge to them. These are the creme de la creme, but you don't have to drop a grand to get this look. There's a whole world of Chelsea boots out there for you to explore. You could grab them from a brand like Grenson maybe, which makes really nice made in England boots. Jonah Hill here is wearing his Chelsea boots with a pretty wild shirt and some beat to hell jeans. The boots really help to tie this together. You know, he, he could look like that crazy hippie guy that you run into on the beach that offers you weed. And he sort of still does, but you can tell that he has his stuff together a little bit more because of those boots. The loafer. These are the untouchable outfit elevating slip-ons. They are having a serious moment and they are a ton of different styles of these. There's absolutely gonna be one that fits your style. The loafer is maybe my favorite category. It really elevates any outfit. Maybe my favorite part is that there are no laces to deal with. Great. You can slip them on without socks. You can throw them on with a thick pair of white socks. You can wear them with dress socks. It kind of goes with whatever your vibe is. This is probably the most iconic and classic version of a loafer. It's a penny loafer. And these ones specifically made by G.H. Bass & Co are like the definitive penny loafer. Bass was one of the first companies to uh, bring this style to America and make it popular. Miles Davis wore these shoes, JFK wore these shoes, Paul Newman pulled these off. They are an incredible shoe with a lot of history. They are super affordable and super versatile and they come in a huge range of colors. I love, you know, this classic oxblood looks really great with a lot of different things. If you sort of want to step up your loafer game and you have a little bit of a larger budget, this pair from Vinnie's is a great option. They are in a really beautiful suede that's gonna pop and give a really luxurious edge to all of your outfits. The be all and end all of luxury loafers is the Gucci loafer. This is their classic horse bit loafer. It clocks in well over $800 but it's worth it because they're Gucci. A lot of the times loafers will have some kind of like ornamentation like this. This right here is kind of as classic as, as you can get other than like a penny loafer. You're not gonna regret an investment like this. These are always gonna look as luxurious and as elevated as possible. The pair that I have on now is my most recent uh, obsession. It's this pair from a brand called 80s. Still got the classic sort of penny loafer style, but with this croc embossing here. And I like that the toe is kind of square, almost like a Birkenstock. If you are looking to go a little crazy with your loafers, you could try out a pair of Belgian slippers like these. They have a much more exaggerated and crazy cut to them, which shows off a little bit more of your socks or your foot. And they come in all sorts of crazy colors like this beautiful green that I picked out. A shoe like this might look a little bit more intimidating to some, but honestly, the trick to pulling any shoe off is to just kind of do it without much of a care in the world. This is a very formal type of loafer, but that makes it all the cooler when you pull it off with a casual look as well. If you're having trouble figuring out how to wear 
some loafers. Just Google Tyler the Creator style and you're probably on a good path. The dress shoe. There are a bunch of different kinds, but we've just narrowed it down to a few that are just classic, will go well for most fancier occasions. The first pair that we've got here is a pair from Churches, a pretty long established shoemaker based in England. This particular style here is what's called a cap toe. It's pretty plain, which means that it's easy to go with a lot of outfits. They're also another shoe that you can dress up and dress down. I don't necessarily think you need to be like going to like a business meeting to wear a dress shoe. Even if you wanna just throw on a pair of jeans and like a dress shoe to like go to the office, it kind of just elevates your look. This is another cap toe shoe in a really nice mid brown. If you are not so keen on a black dress shoe, a mid brown, a slightly dark brown dress shoe like this is really easy to pair with most outfits. I would say if this is gonna be your first dress shoe, probably wanna go with something like this. The dress shoe is like more of an investment piece. I think they can range from like around 300 to like these churches are probably like in the 900s, but there's something you'll have forever and if you take care of them, they'll last you a lifetime. They all have their little like adornments. A sort of like rule of thumb is that the less stuff the dressier it is. So if you're looking for something to wear the, with a tuxedo, like a really shiny sort of like patent leather type situation without anything on it, you will do fine. You look great. So if you're looking for a pair of classic black dress shoes that are gonna go with everything, but you don't wanna break the bank, this pair of Allen Edmonds Park Avenue cap toe shoes are a really good bet. If you need a pair of dress shoes, but don't want to spend all that much, there are plenty of options out there. This British brand, Sola Bear, or even Doc Martens has some dressier options. For a more casual look, I'd wear the dress shoe with like a jean or like a chino and like an oversized like concert tee. You could do like Jay-Z and just do like a t-shirt under your suit. This just kind of shows you don't have to go full on dressy with a dress shoe. David Beckham's like a style god. He definitely made this dress shoe like look and feel a bit more casual, but still elevated. He has them in like a cognac color, which is great. It's like something different from like your traditional black or like your dark brown. So <laughs> this is my go-to pair right now of dress shoes. They're a little weird. I found them vintage and then I had a guy resole them uh, with this like crazy, sole. I don't really wear this with a suit. I more so often wear this like with some big old jeans. This is an example of a, something that would be a dress shoe, but I wear it wherever. Shakira, whenever, wherever. If you get a good pair, you can have them resold, have them for years and years and years and pass them on. Thanks for watching. If you like any of these shoes, we've included links in the description below for you to cop them right now.